come from? The thing you may not realize, it comes from atoms, but really specifically the, Mr. Dimitrovich? Electrons. The electrons electrons getting, in the atom. Getting excited and falling So you're, here, you're carrying some different spheres in your hand. So we're going to go to imagination land, and these right here, these represent different amounts of energy, and because we're uh, clever this way, we're going to go from the smallest to the largest, the golf ball being the least amount of energy, up to the tennis ball, which everyone knows. I mean, we could have gotten a soccer ball or something else, but that would have required way too much planning on our part. So we're just going to go with this. And so what happens is right now, if you can notice here, he's at the first energy level. Lowest energy level possible. We call that the ground state. So remember, there are seven different energy levels in an atom. Right. Are you happy in the ground state? Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. chilling. Yeah, to use a word from our decade. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to never do this. I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to never, ever break dance again. <laughs> Let's make that okay. a rule. Here we go. I'm going to toss you one of these balls that has a little amount of energy. You probably missed that because that was so fast. So when the energy hit me, this is a piece of energy, actually a packet of energy. What happens is it excites me and then I lose it. So every time you gain energy, you're going to jump up right. to a higher energy. But I don't level. like being at the higher level. So and you're going to release it and that energy comes in the form of light. So what just left the atom was the light. Let's try it. Let's try one that's... I, I figure this is slightly bigger. So let's try a little more energy. This time, it's going to correspond to him jumping from the first to the third energy level. But I don't like being here. I want to return to the ground state. So why? And you'll fall back down. And now a different color of light was emitted from the atom. So it was one color from level two to level one and a different from level three to level one. Let's try a little bit more. Let's 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 get crazy here. Let's have you jump up to the fifth energy level. We're gonna have a little more energy given to you here. Wow! It hit me. Okay, I'm not gonna jump up because I'll probably hurt myself. But now it is. I'm I'm actually really really like don't like this. So he, he's we call this the excited state, and no one likes to be in the excited state. We we say I mean, do you want to be JoJo the excited clown boy? No. No one no one wants to be JoJo the excited clown boy. That's not very pleasant. So what do you want to do with that I amount of energy? Want to release that. And Fall back down. Fall back down. To the bottom level. To the ground state, we call that. Now, yeah, yeah. let's try the highest amount of energy. Yeah. I want you to head up there. Oh, I can't. Ah, I, I was trying been, to trick I gotta be knocked up. So yeah, see. <laughs> knocked up, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> yeah. Well, just ignore that last yeah. little part there. Don't get knocked up. Um, so if I give you this amount of energy now, he has the energy that's required to go up to the highest energy level. I'm at the highest energy level. Now, really quickly, and this is important while, we're, while we have him up at the highest level, he ultimately wants to go down to the lowest energy level, the first energy level. But he doesn't have to do it all in one step. It's kind of like the, yeah. the pay as you go problem. Pro. I could lose, but it won't be this amount of energy. Yeah, it'll be a different right, amount this of amount of energy, I'd have like a, a red ball, and I would jump down to the fifth level. Right. And it would release a red ball towards him. Now, he skipped the six, but couldn't he have jumped, theoretically, couldn't he go from a seven to the six? Yeah, yeah. Or a seven to the fifth, seven to four, seven to three. So each time you release energy, it's going to be a different amount of energy. Right. Now, what's kind of important, why don't you get rid of all the energy, come back down here. Um, one thing that's really important about energy is that you can only gain and lose energy in specific amounts. We call that quantization. What that means is that I he can be at one energy level or the next, but never in between. I can't, I can't, you know, I, I can't hover here. So that's what I'm gonna say. Do me a favor, just to, just for all the people in the audience, show yeah. your skill here. Would you do me a favor, between the second and the third stair, can you just hover between those two? Right. That's, that's, so that's way, way to destroy our example here. I can't You're really, welcome. that's the problem. There, and this is the weird thing, is the electron it appears on the second level. And even as I fall from the second level to the first level, there is no moment in time where I am halfway between there. And I say that doesn't make any sense. And that, it has to do with the nature of quantization of electrons. Well, we call that, we're gonna learn about quantum theory. So if you ever wanna impress your parents, just tell them you're learning quantum theory you're learning in school. Quantum theory. But here, let's just let's do a good and bad here, right? Okay. So low energy, good or bad? I like low energy. Yeah, so but... we say the ground state, two thumbs up, right? right. High energy, any energy other than the first energy level, we call that the what? The excited, excited state. Are you happy there? Not really. You're JoJo the excited clown boy. You don't like that very much, so what's your goal ultimately gonna be? Go down. Now, what you have not noticed here, and even though he's been really, really fast on this, is how quickly this happens in an actual atom. Can you show me here, uh, just you in real time, moving up one stair? 
So if he was an actual electron, he could do that 100 million times in one second. I feel like you didn't do it 100 million times. Or in fact, another way of saying it. Like one in one second. Yeah. In other words, he could get up there in 100 millionth of a second. He could jump up and jump back down. I think he did three <laughs> of the 100 million that he could have been doing. In a second. In a second. So you need to understand that whenever we see light coming from something, that's due to electrons getting excited and falling back down. And what 100 that means, million times a second. So that means that essentially, if you see flickering light, if it goes 100 million times a second, when you see kind of constant light. It's just constant. So let's talk a little bit more about this idea of quantum mechanics or this quantum ideas. So to do that, we need this image here. So this represents the seven layers, electron layers of the atom, the seven Bohr layers. And what happens is, as you add energy to the atom, it takes one of the electrons in the ground state. So we've got an electron, and if it gets hit with some energy, notice that, that Mr. Dimitri is drawing it as a, as a curvy thing, because it comes in as a wave, it's usually light. What happens to that? The electrons jump up to it jumps a, up to a higher level to whatever energy matches the energy that it receives. So let's say that jumps up to level three, which you're on level one, and it falls that back down. And when it falls back down, what happens? It has to give off that same amount of energy that it, it had originally. All right. Well, let's say we hit that electron now with a different color of light. It might be worth noting here that all different colors have different energy amounts. And in fact, if you've ever uh, heard that expression of what are the colors of the rainbow, what is the expression we use? Roy G. Bibb, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And that goes from the lowest energy to the highest. So red light is the lowest energy that exists, and we have violet light Violet at the top. So, so green would be kind of in between, because blue is at the end, right? So let's say we had that same electron, and I probably should be doing a different color. Let's do a, a black here, right? Electron black, sure. Electron black, so this is my electron. Now the green, when it comes in, it probably is gonna hit it with a little more energy, yeah. right? So I'm gonna do that same wave and it's gonna be kind of a little bit more wavy. And now the electron's gonna jump up to let's say maybe the fifth energy level. Yep. And then it's not gonna like going to the fifth energy level, so it's gonna fall back down to the ground state. And when it does that, it's gonna give off the same. And then lastly, the blue, we don't have a purple one, but you get the idea, blue one's gonna be the most energetic energy that you add to the atom. It's gonna shoot the electron up to let's say level seven. And then when it falls back down to level one, it gives off blue light. Um, by the way, I'm, I'm doing this not so great, but the, the waves will be closer together. Closer together, and I'm terrible at drawing them. And then when you leave, it has to, whenever you're, whenever you're dropping down, you have to lose this amount of energy that matches up. So when you're at the seventh energy level, remember we talked about in the video, you don't have to fall all the way back down to the first, right? So if I fell from the seventh to the sixth, the color light would not be blue anymore because that energy drop would be less. And so it might be a little red light or something. Yeah. Like that. Now, the other thing to be aware of here is this, and I, I didn't do it uh, as well as I could have, but you see how the energy levels, I meant to do this, are a little bit closer, lower down, and the farther up you go, the wider the energy drops uh, gaps are. So if you fell from the second energy level to the first energy level, that's a different amount of energy than falling from the seven sixth to the, the sixth. The, the seven to the sixth or six to the fifth. Yeah. So the stairs was a bad analogy because each stair was the same height. Yeah. But in the electron world or the atomic world, the levels are not equivalent. And, and even even crazier is if you go from one atom to another, let's say you go from hydrogen to helium, not the, same. The, the gap from the first energy level to the second energy level for hydrogen is different than from helium. And it makes sense, because remember, the, there's different numbers of protons, and protons are attracted to electrons because positive attracted to negatives. So having a different number of protons, because what's actually pulling it back down, if you think about it, is the attraction to the nucleus. Yeah. He, the negative wants to be closest to the positive as possible. So if you have more protons, you're gonna have different amounts of, of pulling on the, on the electrons, and you have different energy levels. And, I want to reiterate this weirdness, right? We say we've got an electron, you know, down here in level one, right? And then sometimes it jumps up to level three right here. But as it moves up here, it's never in between. It yeah. magically appears here and then re-magically appears at the ground state. That's quantization and it doesn't make sense. And it has to do with the wave nature of light, which we'll talk about later. Hey, so we've been talking about how light is produced, but we probably want to know a little bit about white light and how that impacts everything around us. Right, yeah? so atoms have electrons. Electrons fall, it produces light. But when you see white light, what you're actually seeing is all the colors of the light. Remember, we just talked about Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. But when the light hits the white board, what happens? all of the wavelengths of light get reflected. So as we see this prism right here, when white light enters in, it actually is made up of all the different colors we see, and it's kind of a gradual spectrum. So every single color of light we see comes from the sun. We kind of recreated in the room here with 
the that white light. Or... So the white light that's coming from the fluorescent lights you can't see hits the white board and then it comes to the camera into your eyeballs. And actually when you see all the colors, Roy G. Biv, your brain says white. And we get it. But now, what about if I have a different color? So I have my red face mask. I'm gonna hold this blue. So you've got red or blue, yeah. Your blue shirt, the blue face mask. What's happening, what's hitting that? Let's think about this moment. We're in a room with white light. The white light hits the blue thermos. And everything gets absorbed except this particular wavelength and it rebounds and our eye, our little receptors, which we call our eyes, picks it up. So our eyes see this as blue, but what's only being reflected is blue light. So there's Roy G. Biv hits the light and only buh, comes out, right? <laughs> now, and here's it's interesting because you look at this and we'll say, what color is this? Blue, but it really isn't. If we were to take this next door in here, and I'm sure that would be a great activity for us to do, in a pitch black room, and I would say, what color is this? It's not blue. It's not radiating blueness. In fact, I've heard this said before. In the absence of light, there is no color. Well, in fact, that leads us to another color. So let's say I have a black face mask. What's happening here? The opposite of black is white. So when the white light hits the black face mask, everything gets absorbed. So there's Nothing actually no reflect. reflection. You're not getting any reflection from pure black. Last thing, Mr. Demetrius, I've got my red face mask. So when I put my red face mask on, tell me what's happening. So right now, everything except those red, and I can see some little star colors there yeah. as well. One of the things I'm gonna time out on this is just to say this. You realize that all of our colors are just reflectors, yeah. right? So that reflector right now, he just put, and we don't say, what, what reflector shirt are you gonna wear today? Like my, you didn't pick a gray reflector what, that your wife chose out, she chose mine. Um, that's a reflector for just red. All the colors of light gets absorbed in, except for that color that gets bounced back. And again, if you want to get really technical, remember the staircase stuff that we were doing where electrons are getting excited and falling back down? That's what's happening inside that fabric. And so it's kind of a cool thing that it all kind of meshes together. Up to and down, up and down, 100 million times a second. Yeah. We'll see you guys in class. Look forward to it.